What's up guys, my name is Bubbleplay, welcome to my brand new GM series. We're making it on all gen as you can see. I'm really excited about it. I haven't done it on NHL 15 yet. It's it's my first one and I think it will be a lot of fun and I hope you will enjoy it as well. What we will be doing is sort of, if you need a name for it, it's sort of a hardcore fantasy GM mode. So we are existing in some, I don't know, parallel universe which has several things that have happened uh, that are not like in real life. First thing is Florida Panthers, they just stopped existing. There is not such team. They were terminated completely. All the players they have been released, they all are actual free agents now. They are, they are not on any roster, anybody can sign them. At the same time, basically simultaneously, uh, there was a new team created. It was created in Hamilton. Historically, Hamilton had a hockey team in, uh, I think, starting from 1920s, and it was called Hamilton Tigers. It had uh, black and yellow colors, and uh, a lot of people loved it. But for uh, technical reasons, this team that was created was, uh, we just couldn't name it Hamilton Tigers. So we had to... Uh, do the next best thing, which is Hamilton Wildcats. You can see their jerseys right now. They're still like historically correctly They are black and yellow and uh, I know there is Boston and Pittsburgh which have these colors, but this is history We cannot really go we can we can't really do anything about it I think it still look pretty cool. So I don't have problems with that and uh, another thing about this team is that this team is really poor. This team has owners and they don't really have a lot of money or they just don't want to spend a lot of money on their hockey team. It can it can be whatever. So we will have serious limitations. We will not have salary cap like every other team in the game has it. We will have our own salary cap and it will depend on the number of wins that we get in the previous season. So starting from season two, a salary cap, cap that we are uh, getting is number of wins we've got in this year. And next year, uh, yeah, I'm sure you get it. And uh, just to be clear, two overtime losses, they equal one win, which is pretty logical in my opinion. So we will have a tough budget. For example, if we will get 40 wins, which will not happen in this year, I promise you that, then we will have $60 million, million cap space. This ma might change with time, we will see, but for now, this is how it will be done. So, and basically, this is one of the two rules of this series, and you can see them on your screen right now. First is that 1.5 million per win is our cap space, and second rule is interesting. Second rule is that the team has owners, and owners, they are sort of a wild card. They can do a lot of things. They can give us some limitations. They can give us some challenges. They can reward us with allowing us to sign, I don't know, superstar player once in a while. And basically anything they want, it can happen. And we don't know how owners uh, work it. I haven't decided. Maybe it will be random. Maybe we will vote on it. Maybe I will decide it for myself as I will consider it will be better for the series. We will figure it out as we go, but it's always will be there. In the probably after the season, and I don't know, somewhere around the draft or re signing or free agency, then the owners would say if they have something special for us. And yeah, we will see. We will see how it will work out. So, uh, what else? The roster. Uh, the roster that we are having is pretty bad. I will show it to you right now we have those are free agents we just got them from free agency we have a couple of 80s 80 plus players but rest of them are just i don't know they couldn't get a deal in the nhl and they all will be unrestricted free agents after this year so we basically will decide who we will resign or maybe we will get somebody else and it will all depend on a lot of different things uh our system well this is technically you you get that this is the farm uh, AHL team for uh, 
Florida Panthers, but all the good prospects are gone. I just basically I just traded them away to make it interesting and to make it more authentic. We have some, yeah, we don't really have that good of a prospects. Probably some. We I guess we can use those. They are not such a big deal. No superstars, no franchise players coming up there. If we want to get a franchise player, we will have to draft him and to grow him and do all the rest of the stuff. And yeah, I guess this is basically it. So I don't know how well will it work. I don't know if it will be entertaining, but I really hope I want to try it because I think that this idea is needed. And I hope you will think so too. I don't know if we will be actually simulating it this year. Probably we will. We have some time. At least we can set uh, our lines and do all the rest of the stuff. And yeah, we can look at uh, at the roster more carefully. So let's start with the goalies. So who do we have? We have Timmy Thomas, uh, who will be probably our starter this year. 2.5, yeah, I think this is the fair uh, salary. He has a backup and this Barry Proust guy, we probably will move him down. Uh, defensively, we have Tomasz Kabril, who's like 50 years old, probably. 36, okay, yeah. Yeah, 80 overall. Maybe he will be, <laughs> maybe he will be decent. Uh, yeah, Cabrera, Fraser, Murray, Kamisarek, Yerchina, and Henry. Yeah, and forwards: uh, Penner, Whitney, Loktionov. Loktionov might be good. I kind of signed him, but maybe he will be one uh, one player that we will keep. So he will be like something in this. Uh, he has some potential, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so nothing too exciting here. And yeah, yeah, that's basically it. And I think we can uh, first, yeah, I'm sorry, I need to kind of realize how to operate those menus. I haven't done it in a while. Uh, we have Alice. And I don't... Well, probably we can use him as a backup. I know this is kind of a... Uh, yeah, we will do this. And... Bruce uh, can do, go down as well. Yeah, Thomas and Alice. It's not a big deal. It's not like it's a game changer having Alice as our backup. We will just think that we signed him. And here we have Kabrile, Fraser, Murray, Kamisarik, all the defensive defensemen, Eckford, and Yurchina. Yeah, yeah, this guy, he will go down. Oh, also, I forgot to mention it, you can probably see it uh, on the screen right now. We don't really have salary cap on. It's not because I want to spend too much, it's for two reasons. First of all, I don't want uh, this, I don't know, I, I, I don't want uh, that our lower salary cap, which will be probably really low in the first years, that it will interfere, that the game will uh, say that we need to go uh, above the minimum or, you know, something else. And the second reason is that I don't want to see the situation when, because of the weak AI, some good players, they hit free agency because team just cannot afford to resign them. Of course, it's pretty stupid, but... Uh, I think that this makes it more realistic. The fact that we uh, we will not see like Patrick Kane hitting free agency or something like that because it it happens all the time. And uh, if you ha have salary cap on, and it will make uh, trading more effective between uh, computer control teams. Yeah, I think I think it will be better. I don't think that this is too big of a deal, but I think it will be better. Okay, so min. Yeah, four right wingers, one, two, three, four, four left wingers, and one, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess this guy, we can just send him down. Yeah, this is the full roster, two goalies, six defensemen. Yeah, best lines, why not? Uh, oh, I forgot that sometimes those menus, well, even if they are slow, they are like 10 times faster than uh, the menus in next gen and NHL 15, those are just taking forever to you know to go around. Yeah, I need to remember all of that. Yeah, and this is our lines, and yeah, I probably agree with that. 
yeah, Whitney. I don't think that we need to set our roster uh, too, you know, carefully, too precise because, well, it will pretty much suck anyway. Yeah, Whitney. Yeah, whatever. I don't even want to look at it. The first year we will try to go uh, through it fast. We will try to get as many wins as we get. We don't really get to sign any new players. Maybe if we will get an opportunity to trade, we can. I don't know yet. Probably we will not be doing that. So it's just, you know, the the matter of starting it off. And you know what? I think that we will not be simulating in this video because I, well, I think that we took uh, some time explaining all that stuff and I want to hear what you guys think. What should we do? Because before we start simulating, maybe we can, I don't know, have some good, maybe you will give me some good suggestions about the rules, about, uh, you know, how we should do it and all that good stuff. And maybe, uh, yeah, we will change something up. Yeah, probably, pretty much this is settled, but maybe if you have some suggestions that will improve the things that I have kind of uh, implemented here, then certainly we will do it. And, uh, well, I guess we will end it right here. And I must say I'm pretty excited to start this series. I, I really think that it will be fun. And, well, well we got to see it. And I hope you're excited to leave a like if you are, and uh, subscribe if you still haven't, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.